My name is Aousa. Um, I'm from Iceland. I'm 24. I studied marketing and communication design with Maddie at Kia here in Edinburgh, and now I'm doing my specialization in communication design and media. I've been here for about three and a half years, and yes, I founded Cherry Pop with Maddie here. Yeah. <laughs> my name is Maddie or Madeline. I am from Norway, and I'm 23 years old and I studied with Elsa at Kia. And now I'm doing my specialization in business management and marketing so that we are a bit of a more diverse team with our different knowledges. Well, Cherry Pop is a, a sexual education app where we want to include more inclusive sexual education. We want it to be more gender neutral. We want it to be more fun, more accessible, both to students and teachers. Just due to the nature of our company and also the fact that we are uh, female founders, we really felt like we had a lot to prove. Yeah. We really wanted to make, I think we were afraid that if we asked for help too soon, that we wouldn't be taken seriously mm -hmm. because we wouldn't have enough to show for it. So I think we took a lot of time to try to prepare ourselves to be competent enough to ask for help. Yeah. But it's very true that we could have asked for help from the yeah. beginning and then those first steps wouldn't have taken as much time. Yeah. But we really tried to push ourselves to learn how to do all of it ourselves so that we could then go into meetings and say, we do know what we're talking about. Here's what we figured out. Here's what we know. Here's what we have. We, we should have believed in ourselves more and yeah. earlier. Yeah. Because we spend a lot of time being like, ah, do, are yeah. we entrepreneurs? Do we know what we're talking about? <laughs> yeah. Should people actually believe what we're talking about? Just a lot of like imposter syndrome. Yeah. So having those, um, th those kinds of validations of people saying, yes, we want to give you some money to do this because what you're doing is great. It actually has been a great thing for us. Mm. So I think we just kind of all, we're like, yeah, we went for it. Yeah. And, um, and then we signed up with uh, KS Startup Lab yeah. uh, at our school, uh, who is a part of NEH, Nordic Entrepreneurship Hub, uh, who told us about the micro legat uh, that we could apply for. And yeah, we got some help from them, yeah. which was very helpful. Cause then we could use that money to hire two sexologists. Um, so that really helped us along the way. 